The West Virginia National Guard's new Logan Mingo Readiness Center opened Friday afternoon with a number of officials attending the opening, including West Virginia Governor Earl Ray Tomblin. The center serves as a hub for National Guard training for Logan and Mingo counties. The new readiness center is located directly between the Logan and Mingo airports in order to provide faster transportation, if needed, during emergencies. A great day for Southern West Virginia and actually for Eastern Kentucky. Uh, yeah, we do have uh, our guards, men and women, uh, traveling across state lines, and I know that we have several from Kentucky that are assigned to this unit here. So we just uh, want to say it's, it's good for all the whole region in Southern West Virginia and Eastern Kentucky. Sergeant First Class Donna Smith says the opening of this facility is actually bittersweet because it means a facility she loves will be closing, the National Guard Armory in Williamson. We have been in our old building for a long time, so this is going to kind of, that's where the bittersweet comes in. But to have the airport close by, to be up on the mountain and to be on the Logan Mingo line, we're close to Logan, where it's really good for us. Katie Clark's husband, Aaron, has been deployed for eight months in Kosovo. During Friday's ceremony, Frontier helped connect the couple by using fiber optics technology. I can't even fathom how people do this all the time. Like, I know a few people that are deployed with him now, this is their third deployment, and this is our first, so just to be honest, I don't look forward to it anytime soon, just ready for him to come home. and. I definitely understand the, the few minutes that you get with somebody when you don't get to see them every day. It's, it's wonderful. Reporting in Holden for EKB News, I'm Shelby Steele.